and welcome back to Life With Em. And today I am super excited. Well, I'm super excited to film every video, but I'm really excited to film this one. And I'm gonna be doing half of my face with makeup and then the other half without makeup to see the difference. So I'm gonna be doing this side with makeup and then this side without makeup. So, and this is kinda of gonna be like a video to show y'all kind of what I do for my everyday morning routine, except I do both sides of my face instead of just one. So let's get right on in. So first is priming. For priming, I use this sunscreen. And then I use this moisturizer, the same one I've used for a while. And then of course, e.l.f. Hydrating Face Primer. And then for my lips, I use just an EOS. This is the tubed EOS. But first, I'm going to put my hair up. I just have a scrunchie here. And normally I would use two bows to pick two or two pins to pin my hair back. But today I'm only gonna use one. So this side of the face. So I just have this cute little sunflower bow pin my hair up with. So let's go ahead and prime this side of the face. First I'll go in with my sunscreen. Then I'm going to go in with my moisturizer. Then I will go in with my actual face primer. Then lastly for my lips, I'll go in with the EOS. So that is everything for priming. Now I'm going to move on into tinted moisturizer. So as you know, I of course have the Sugar Rush, Sugar Rush Skin Treat Tinted Moisturizer Sunscreen is SPF 20. I'm running low. That should be good considering I'm only doing half my face. Poe, you've done messed up my bunny. Poe, Poe, what are you doing? You look like a bunny. I have crazy animals. So, and then my fair brush. And I'll of course just do one side of my face. So now that it is brushed on, I'm just gonna go in with my sponge. It has nail marks all in it because I let my nails grow out super long. So I'll just get the extra off my hand. I'll just pat it in. Next up is concealer and I have the Wet and Wild concealer in the color Fair. It's crazy the differences these are both the color fair, but they're by two different brands, so they're two different colors. <clears throat> so I'll just do it a few dots under my eyes. Right in the corner, right at the bottom, and right at the end. Just like that. My chin. Normally I make like an M shape, but I'll just do a line today. And right on my nose, just a little bit. So now that I am done with my concealer, I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. setting powder or perfect finish powder. And this is just a translucent or a clear powder. And I'll just go in with my pressed powder brush because it has a spot for a powder, powder puff, but it doesn't have one. So next time I go to the store, I'll have to get one. But for now, I'm just using my brush. And I'll just set my entire, this entire side of my face. And then after that, well after the powder, I will go in with bronzer. And for bronzer, I have this one by I Heart Revolution in the color Latte. And I love this packaging, it is super cute. Probably out of all of the packagings in my makeup bag, this one's my favorite. Here's the color. I'll go in with my bronzing brush. 
I like to tap, knock it off, and then knock it off on my hand. Then it's just kind of just lightly brush it over my whole face. And then with the e.l.f. bronzing brush, which is angled, I'll just go in on my on my nose right here and just kind of contour it with the bronzer. And next is blush. So for blush, I use two. First, I go in with the Morphe X Maddie Ziegler cream blush in the color peach out this is a cheek and lip mousse i think is what it is i'll go over it with that first and then the name has completely erased from this but i'll go over it with the loti london blush in the color serene just to kind of blend it out here's my blush brush so i'll just get a little bit i just dab dab in there very carefully drag it all over my face. So now I would just blend that out with the Loti London powder blush. Okay, now it's blended. So next I will go in for highlighter with the uh, Morphe X Maddie Ziegler I Do Face Gloss Stick as highlighter. Still gonna use to using all of these cream products and how they work best for me. Just put it here. My nose, careful to keep it on one side. A little bit on my forehead and a little bit on my chin. And because this is a cream, a brush doesn't work too well. So I just go in with the other beauty blender that I have and just blend it out. And as I'm doing this, I'm also going around my whole face just to blend everything together. I think that is everything for the base. Now we're going to move on to the eyes. So for brows, I still have the same brow pencil. This is the e.l.f. Instant Lift Brow Pencil in the color blonde. And I'll first just comb through my brow, not brows, but brow. Now I will fill it in the other side. I'll brush through it again. I like to brush through it a second time to blend everything out. So, now I'll just glue that down with the Benefit Brow Gel. Here we go. And after brows, we are now going to move on to the eye look for today. So, for today's eyeshadow look, I'm gonna be going in with this palette from I Heart Revolution that I don't think I have ever used in a video before. Here are all the colors. So the first color you're gonna be needing is this color right here. Arabic. Yeah, Arabic. And we're just gonna put that on the inner corner and the outer corner. I love these palettes because they have a mirror in them that's huge. don't have to worry about it being perfect because after we do everything we're just going to go back over and blend everything out and it'll buff out all of those rough edges you might have messed up on so now we're going to use the I Heart Revolution Sweethearts palette and we're gonna go in with this one right here part number three 
And we're just gonna put that all only on the rest of the lid, not the crease, just the lid. And I am gonna use this mirror. And now I'm going to just blend all of this together with this brush. See, and look, that rough edge never happened. Especially whenever we blend it with the crease. Speaking of crease, the crease color, we're going to use this one right here. And then we're just going to blend this. And now for our under eye color, I'm gonna go in to this one right here. And I'm just gonna go in with an angled brush for under my eye. So next, we're gonna be doing the highlight color which is going to be my favorite highlight shade, which is from this palette right here. It is super pretty. And I have this Wet n Wild brush that's kind of just rounded. And I'm just gonna put that on the inner corner and the brow bone. And then I'm just going to blend that out so that way it's not too harsh. And lastly, all over the entire eye, just to give it some sparkle, we're going to go in with this color right here. Instant. And I'm even going to wing out the shimmer. But not like too harsh. So we'll blend it down some. Here we go. And now is the time I would say, I'm just gonna go off camera and do the other eye, but I'm not today. I'm just gonna make sure everything is nice and blended together. The highlights are blended with the overall color. Everything's just blended. Here we go. And now I'm going to go in with some eyeliner. I have this one here. This is the Maybelline New York. It is silver and I'm not the best at eyeliner. I only got this a few days ago. So hopefully I can do pretty good at it. Okay, I think it looks okay. And then because I don't like the harsh look of eyeliner, I will go over and kind of buff it out. That's what I really like about this eyeliner is that you can buff it out some so it's not too harsh. And now after I buff it, sometimes I have to go do a touch up. So I am gonna touch up the inner corner. Here we go, and I'll just put that out a little bit more. There we go. There is the eye. And next, I'm going to do the eyelashes. I'm first, of course, going to curl them. Okay, now I'm gonna go into some mascara. I have my Thrive Cosmetics Mascara. I got new, so it won't be clumpy. So now it is time for lips, and I'm just going in with the Morphe X Maddie Ziegler Lip Gloss in the color Peach Pucker. Now, lastly, I will go in with some setting spray and just spray my face. Now, I will take down my hair.
because my tinted moisturizer is not a foundation, which isn't as full coverage, which I'm okay with, because I'm, I don't do makeup just to cover up everything. I do it for fun. Everybody's beautiful in their own way. So I just like to do makeup for the fun of it. And even though my skin doesn't look perfect with it on, that's okay. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell down below, and also the like button. Here is this week's shout outs. Thank you for commenting. If comments are turned off for this video, then go to this video right here and put this in the comment section down below. But if comments are turned on, you can of course just put that down in the comment section of this video. And also something I never say, but also hit the share button. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you next week. Bye guys.